Adrian Broner has always had the ugliest left hook I've ever seen in boxing history. It's so wide and it looks ugly when he throws it. He's loading up. Blair Cobb is loaded him. It, it, he, he lined him up. Look how he fell. Is that the tooth? Is that the tooth right there? We got Adrian's body's contorted to the ground. You let Blair Clock Blair get you. You couldn't scare this guy before the fight. He denied you. Once Adrian got knocked down, he tried to pick up the pace and try to come forward, but you're not letting your hands go. You're walking flat-footed. Watch this weak left hook he throws, man. This is the weakest stuff I've seen. Right there. He hit him. Watch how wide the thing is. Miss. It looks, he's he been throwing that ugly left hook all He does it every fight. Then Cobbler, low, he wound up. Boom! Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Look, he's frozen. He's frozen. Rick Flair frozen. Blair the Flair. Have a seat. Damn. Ooh, watch how he fell. Watch how his body turned. Look like the black beetle juice. <laughs> this is the killer. This is the killer we see at the, at the press conference. Talk about how he go slap somebody. Man, you ain't slapping nothing. Look at your other arm. Look at this mug. You, you, your body's contorted all crazy. You got dropped by uh, Blair Cobbs. You better not ever argue with nobody. <laughs> he spread eagle. He spread that eagle for for, every, for the world to see. <laughs> oh, he got on a tampon. <laughs> he, he got a the fucking tampon and shit. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Look at that left. You can see how ugly the left hook. Watch this left hook he throw. Right there. You see how ugly that shit is, man. Watch out. Oh, I'm gonna catch it when he when he when it go all the way back. Hold on. I'll try to. He always throws his left hooks just like that. Every, go look at it, all his fights. He has the ugliest left hook I've ever seen in boxing. It ain't because he got hit. He always throws it like that. He was throwing it all night. He got caught. Miss. Wow. Look at, look, at, look, at, look at Blair the Flair. <laughs> I wish Blair would have took his hair out of there in a fro when he fought him. One less tooth now than he began the night with. Beating the shit out of O.A. Wow. Then when you do, when you lose like that, you bring these celebrities up in here. They on the phone talking. They talking about you, man. Look at all of them looking. Look at look at all of them standing there looking. Just can't believe what just happened. He's shaking his head. And then when Adrian, Adrian Broner hears this, a yes man. Y'all remember when Deontay, when that video I made the other day, when he said, yeah, they have that. Remember that? The yes man in the corner? Agreeance. Now watch what this dude going to do. Herbo. 
They cheated. This ain't your friend. It says up here, Adrian Broner friend G Herbal reacts to him getting dropped by Blair Cobbs and losing. Would your friend say you cheated? Your friend tell you the truth. But since he's on camera and Adrian Broner's going to get on social media, YouTube, and watch these videos, he can't say that. You got to be yes, 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 boss. He don't believe that. Then you got Rick Ross coming out here. When you watch Adrian Broner fight, it looked like a ex Mayweather exhibition. There's no coming back from when you lose to Blair Cobbs. You told Blair Cobbs that he didn't have no legacy the other day. He said, man, you ain't got no legacy. You let this dude beat you. I was looking for you to lay it all on the line. I knew you wasn't going to do it. You know. I made a video the other day saying that you, your character looked like you kind of mellowed out and you showing mature maturity and you didn't. I should have known. When I, the press conference happened, I said, oh, the ignorant, the one that don't work out between fights. See, the top guys between fights, they stay active. You look at the Terrence Crawfords, they post videos of them in the gym working out year round, even when they don't have fights. Mayweather used to do it. Javante Davis does it. These guys stay on their game. They keep the tools sharpened. They don't let their weight get out of control. Adrian Broner got to lose so much weight. And then you're going to try to, you think it's eight weeks is enough to lose the weight and get your, your, your tools sharpened up? You have to stay committed to it. So Adrian Broner lost. He was embarrassed. You see how he walked. When they put the decision up and said Blair Cox, he walked off. He walked off. This little money he getting ain't going to last long. Said Adrian Broner, a seasoned boxer with notable past earnings is expected to pocket between $1 million and $1.5 for this bout. I don't see how. Adrian going to be fighting for a long time. We're going to sit here and wonder why he's still fighting in his 40s and stuff. He's going to be fighting where he ain't even going to be on TV. Uh, Blair Cobbs is going to get another good fight. He's going to get beat quick. Blair Cobbs is not, he don't really have no power, but he was, he did it, he, 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 uh, he did enough. He outworked Adrian Broner. Adrian Proner, Adrian the Problem Broner. That problem says it all for him. He picked the right name. Adrian the Problem Broner. He let himself beat him. He cannot beat himself. Flat footed. You don't throw you ain't you ain't active with your jab. You ain't putting together combinations. You blow up in between fights. You think you're gangster. Carissa Shields can beat Adrian Broner. Carissa Shields will knock Adrian Broner out. That's who we need to be trying to fight. I've always thought Adrian Broner, I thought whoever was handling him moved him up too quick when they shot him up from 135 to 147 when he fought Polly. I think that was a bad move. I think Adrian Broner should have stayed at 135 for a while. They say, well, his weight, that's his fault. He was in his 20s. I get it now. I think Adrian Broner should never go no higher than 140. He's really not a big puncher at that division. At 147, he can't hurt nobody. 135, he was hurting people. But he let that time, he should have, his stages. You stay there for a while, you move up. He was chasing money. He wanted to be big too fast. 
He wanted to be Floyd Mayweather. Now he's like a he's a gatekeeper. Man, nobody cared about no Adrian Broner, man. Change your brother to a bum. <laughs> man, they need the bum, dude. Blair the Flair beat Adrian Broner before the fight. What Adrian tried to do to him. Beat him before the fight, man. Blair don't put no alcohol. He ain't doing all that drinking and partying. He promoted the fight. He did what he had to do. Anyway, guys. Oh, yeah. Man, I actually fell asleep on a fight at one point. I, second round, I fell asleep before the knock. I heard them yell, "He knocked down!" I got, I looked. They showed the instant replay, so I was up for a couple more rounds and fell asleep again. And woke up, man, Adrian. I said, "Oh man, this looked like an a, a, a exhibition fight, man. He looked fat. He looked like he gained weight. It just, he looked like he didn't have no energy because he don't stay in shape, guys. That's on him, Adrian. The problem, bro." Anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, man. It's your boy.